I'm John Moran here with another installment of Things You Should Know When You Google Ads Things. And today we're going to be discussing the update that Google has officially rolled out and it's coming to a account near you <laughs> about Google restricting search terms based on privacy reasons. So what this means is that, you know, when you're usually managing a campaign, uh, lead generation, e-commerce, whatever it is, if you're especially if you're uh, looking at a search campaign or shopping campaigns, search terms, what Google is doing now is they're greatly restricting the amount of search terms that have generated clicks that tells you what happened. And what this means is that you might have 20 searches that day and 20 clicks. Uh, Google's going to show you like four or 10. Uh, it's not going to show you all 20. So how this affects you, it's, it's actually pretty drastic. It's um, actually, you know what, let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to dive in here and you'll see we have this one ad group uh, with seven clicks on November 9th and we got a conversion. So 14.29% conversion rate, one conversion, seven clicks. Awesome. So what was the keyword that was searched? Well, we saw that the one conversion came in from Cisco third party. Cool. So now we know what the keyword is. What was the search term? Because this is broad match modified. The search term says, well, we'll show you the one impression and one click, but the campaign total that day had seven. But we're only going to show you one. And the best part is it's not actually even the search that led to a conversion. Google's official statement on this is it's only going to be showing you uh, keyword searches with significant volume or something that has, you know, a sig significance in relevancy. So, you know, any irrelevant search terms that you did get clicks for, um, you know, may not show up. Well, that's your negative keyword list. So that's how you generate that. And so what does this mean for you? Well, it means that your visibility has been cut probably in half. Uh, now the official st statistic says it reduced by you know 30%. We've actually seen much more than that. Obviously you can see that I only have one of seven clicks in my search terms report. So that really means that I'm only seeing what 15%, I can't do math and I'm a Google ads person, so go figure. But yeah, that's uh, one click out of seven. So the other, and it didn't even lead to the conversion. So what was the other search term that led to the conversion? It could be, uh, could be a ton of things. It could be ones that I actually want to proactively start to target because broad match modified found a great search term. And so what this means for you is that you need to have your keyword strategy on point. Your keyword strategy needs to be high intent driven, high purpose, commercially purposely appropriate. Meaning, you know, if you're an attorney, don't just bid on the keyword attorney, broad match modified, bid on, you know, uh, DUI attorney near me or uh, best attorney for litigation, you know, something like that need to have a longer tail key phrase because as Google starts to restrict the amount of search terms that are visible to you, it's going to leave you guessing. Well, I had, you know, a ton of clicks on this. I don't know why you would want to do this, but a singular broad match modified key phrase and maybe or even phrase match, even exact match, honestly. And you might have half of them that are relevant, half of other ones that are irrelevant and it's not gonna show you half of them. And it might be ones that are relevant as you saw here, or maybe ones that are irrelevant. So it's actually a little bit, you know, it's 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 getting to the point where Google is trying to get you to say, hey, bid broadly and then use automated and we'll take it from here. Has not been the case so far. That it's gonna get there. But what that means for you in the interim is that your keyword strategy needs to be on point. Long tail key phrases, high intent key phrases, near me, top, best, local, you know, whatever it may be. Use high intent purpose-driven key phrases, company, manufacturer, product, whatever it may be. So make sure that you're using qualifying keywords in your search terms. Don't just bid too broad and then say, well, pick at the ones I like and all the negative keywords, the ones I don't like. Those days are over. Um, it's a big change. So your keyword strategy has to be on point. You're, the more variations of those key phrases, the more um, you know two, three, and four key phrase keywords you can put together, it's going to benefit you because you're going to have probably less searches, less variables of searches that are going to happen on those key phrases. And hopefully you'll be able to see them or at least get close. Um, so make sure that your keyword strategy is on point, your negative keyword strategy is on point, um, but it just takes more workload to A, start and set up and B, monitor on a monthly basis. But just know that if you hop into search terms and say, why is all my search terms gone? This is something that uh, that is happening right now. And you may not have it yet, but one day you will probably hop into your search terms report and see that half of them are gone. So just be, be sure and be mindful of that when you're starting new campaigns to have a really great purpose intent driven keyword list and make sure your negative keyword list is as optimized as you could possibly get it. Everything you could think of that possibly could have been searched because you may not see it anymore is going to be something that's going to be important. So hopefully it's going to good uh, info and warning and kind of next tips. Uh, if you need help with your Google ads account, please feel free to contact us. We're happy to do kind of an action plan for you and help you uh, kind of, you know, find out where you maybe cut waste has been or what to optimize. And uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe if you can. And we're just going to keep coming at you every day with new awesome tips and, and kind of high level strategies. 
Thank you very much.